Good morning, folks. We've got solar wind enhancement at Earth this morning. There were more big earthquakes. We'll take a look ahead at space weather to come, and we've got a couple stories on the atmosphere as well. But we are starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours were relatively calm. No significant solar flares, minor surface motions, especially at the sunspots trailing the coronal hole. But if you recall, we have been expecting a glancing blow CME impact and the arrival of a coronal hole stream. The very first impacts of those events are beginning this morning. Amplified solar wind density is driving the KP index upwards as geomagnetic conditions become disturbed. The magnetic field pressure is going from this to this, and that happened in just the last few hours. The aurora are becoming enhanced and geomagnetic storm activity is expected over the coming days. What we might not expect so much of is flaring and CME activity. The sunspots have continued decaying, and while they aren't incapable of flaring, they are certainly not the monsters they were on the far side or even when they first turned in over the limb. We'll have our eyes on them for sure, but more so on the solar wind here at Earth and resulting geomagnetic conditions. You'll hopefully also recall that we are in an earthquake watch due to the coronal hole magnetic fields. Following the quake we reported yesterday in Afghanistan, we've also had big ones in Argentina and Tajikistan. Luckily, not to the deadly levels as the previous quakes. First up in the articles is a funny one, if I'm being honest. Does it feel like you've heard this before? Like, maybe for the last 30 years. The ice will be gone soon, they say, but that day never seems to arrive. And yeah, we are still waiting for the Beaufort Gyre to unleash its cold climate bomb that's been accumulating for 20 years. Several of you have asked about the recent IPCC report, and after a quick glance, it wasn't really worth going over. But since you asked, same story, different year. I hope we recall how there are global impacts in Dansgaard Oshkar events that range from 5 to 16 degrees, with as much as a 10 degree swing hitting the low latitude areas, and that it happens over the course of just a couple decades. That just makes it hard to be afraid of their numbers and their predictions of the modern era, knowing they are a fraction of what Earth does naturally, and what happened now has taken 150 years. We greatly appreciate your support. All of your resources are found below the video in the description box, including an excellent playlist on climate science that you may need to watch if you're new here. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.